Hello, my name is Edward and welcome back to Pixels and Pinfalls. The shorter video format is back. In this video I want to quickly discuss the new look Intercontinental title belt and the problems I see with it. Namely, there are none. The old title looked very very nice, the new one also looks very very nice. However, it wasn't really the belt that needed a design upgrade now, was it? I would certainly say that the US title is something that most fans have probably grown sick of looking at. We've had this belt design since 2003 and the only upgrade there has been is when the old Scratch logo went to the newer style logo a few years ago. Other than that, the belt has looked exactly the same. Why have they changed the Intercontinental belt and not the US belt? No idea. Now, a year or so ago, there were some concept designs where the US title was upgraded to make it look more like the now older style Intercontinental belt. Personally, I didn't overly like the design, but it was certainly better than what we had before. But I think any kind of an upgrade is certainly what we are due for at the moment. However, with the shape of it, I don't know if they're going to stray away too far from what they've got at the moment because it kind of falls in line with the main title belt and that seems to be an aesthetic that they're quite liking at the moment. However, saying that, with the new IC belt, that's obviously a completely different direction altogether. We haven't really seen a spherical one of these belts. I don't even really think ever. The closest was the old kind of Attitude Era one that was the oval shape. Um, but other than that, they've been kind of very um, angular in shape. So this is kind of a nice break from the norm. I just think they've missed the mark with the wrong belt. There are a few kind of conspiracy theories floating around that well, they're only getting rid of it because that belt design was brought in by Cody Rhodes a number of years ago. Um, possibly, but it seems to have taken them a very long time to get to this point. Um, AEW have been around since the beginning of the year, and yes, they've only been on TV for a couple of months, but they were well aware that Dynamite was coming to TV when it did actually arrive, so you would have thought that that would have probably happened before now. Mm, not sure. Maybe it was just kind of a snap decision along the lines of, yeah, we're sick of this guy, let's kind of get rid of any remnants of what he was. But to be honest, that belt is not really synonymous with him, I wouldn't say. It's more, for me anyway, kind of would associate more with someone like The Miz. But hey, that's that's just me. I'm hoping that the next redesign we do get is for the US belt because I, for one, am very kind of sick of it now. As I said, it's been around since 2003 and I really think we need to be getting rid of it and updating it really for anything else now. It's the kind of last hang up of the, the kind of before era, um, the kind of pre-NXT era and... NXT kind of as, as another brand as such, which has kind of been around since about 2012. So that's still sort of nearly eight years. And this belt way preceded even that. It's been around nearly 20 years. I don't even really think they've ever had a belt design for any belt at all last that long. And yeah, just the look of it, it's just, it looks rubbish to be honest. It's just a flag get rid of it completely. Something kind of more along the lines of the North American title would be preferable, or even something similar to this new IC belt, but maybe with more of a focus on the states of America rather than just as a global look. Don't know. Um, if you've got any kind of ideas based on that, please let me know in the comments. And just on kind of this discussion in general, if you're happy with the new IC belt, please let me know. If there are any bits and pieces, maybe you would tweak with it, please let me know. Or if there is another belt that you would rather they had redesigned first, again, please let me know in the comments below. 
I hope to do a few more of these videos on a bit more of a regular basis now that I am able to do so. Again, there will probably be sort of shorter form discussions um, rather than the other pieces that I used to do back in the day. Unfortunately, until I've got a new Mac up and running, I won't be able to be kind of putting together long bits of gameplay or intersplicing with other bits and pieces and doing longer form videos and they will kind of be these more cut down ones but I just wanted to get something else out there other than live streaming all of the time. That being said, thank you very much for watching. My name has been Edward, this has been Pixels and Pinfalls and I will see you again very very soon. Goodbye. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. To keep up to speed with everything we're doing you can find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you wish to support us financially, you can do so over on Patreon for as little as $1 per month. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Till next time, we'll see you very soon. Goodbye.